did you know that there's another way you can contribute towards funding your government projects apart from through paying taxes? Yes, you can loan money to the government. When you do, your government will pay you back all your money plus interest. You do this through investing in fixed income securities. There are two types of fixed income securities. One, treasury bonds. Two, treasury bills. They're called fixed income securities because you as an investor will be paid fixed interest payments on fixed dates over a fixed period of time. In this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about investing in treasury bills in Kenya. My name is Agatha from the Wealth Tribe and this is where we learn how to build wealth together. What are the key differences between treasury bills and treasury bonds? Number one, treasury bills are usually short-term investments. So for treasury bills, you invest for 91 days, 182 days, or 364 days. That is usually three months, six months, or a year. For treasury bonds, treasury bonds are usually long-term investments. So for this, you invest for five years and above. The second difference is that Treasury bills are usually sold at a discount and I will explain what this means later in the video. Treasury bonds on the other hand usually usually pay fixed interest payments until maturity. So for example a treasury bond you'll, you'll be told you'll be paid 12% um, till the 5 years are over for example if the treasury bond was a 5 year bond. Treasury bills, the third difference is that treasury bills are usually sold at the primary market. What this means is that treasury bills are sold by the Central Bank of Kenya. That is the primary market. Um, treasury bonds, on the other hand, can be bought both at the primary market and at the secondary market. This means that you can buy treasury bonds at the Central Bank of Kenya, which is the primary market, and you can buy treasury bonds when they are listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. And the fourth difference is that the minimum investment in a treasury bill is usually 100,000 Kenyan shillings. On the other hand, to invest in a treasury bond, you need a minimum of 50,000 shillings, except for infrastructure bonds whose minimum is 100,000 shillings. And those are the four key differences between treasury bills and treasury bonds. What is a treasury bill? A treasury bill is a short-term fixed income security issued by the Central Bank of Kenya. What are the different types of treasury bills in Kenya? There are three types of different there are three types of treasury bills in Kenya. Number one, the 91 day treasury bill, number two, the 182 day treasury bill, and number three, the 364 day treasury bill. These treasury bills are classified according to the three different maturity periods. And the longer the treasury bill, the higher the return. Or the longer the treasury bill, the higher the interest rate. So you will note that when you go to the Central Bank of Kenya website, the 364-day treasury bill will give you a higher return as compared to the 182-day treasury bill or the 91-day treasury bill. How much money do you need to start investing in treasury bills in Kenya? You need a minimum of 100,000 to start investing in treasury bills in Kenya. This is a large sum of money for a beginning investor because even I, when I started my investment journey, I could not afford to start investing um, in treasury bills because 100k again is a, is a is a large sum of money so what do you do when you're a beginning investor you start with other investments for example you can start by investing in money market funds because as i explained in my previous video on how to invest in money market funds uh you only need um a little sum of money such as 2500 to start investing in in mmfs so what this means is that you can go open a money market fund account uh, accumulate these 100,000 shillings and then um, start investing in treasury bill. And again, 
by investing in money market funds you are already indirectly investing in treasury bill because as i explained in my uh, complete guide in investing in money market funds one of the things that um one of the ways that a professional fund manager of a money market fund invests your money if invest your money market fund money is through investing in treasury bill so you're already halfway there all you need to do is to be disciplined enough to accumulate these 100,000 shillings and for you to start onboarding uh, treasury bills and treasury bonds in your portfolio. And how do treasury bills work in Kenya? So a normal investment usually works uh, this way. You give them, you give 100,000 shillings, for example, and you're given um, a fixed interest rate, you're given a, a certain interest rate, let's say 12%, uh, for a period of time, let's say one year. That is how a normal investment works, right? But that is not how a treasury bill works. A treasury bill is usually sold at a discount. So using the same example, if you invest, if you want, if you want to invest 100,000 shillings uh, in a treasury bill, what will happen is that you go to the Central Bank of Kenya, they will be selling to you an 100k treasury bill for 95,000 shillings, for example. So in this example, the 5,000 shillings is your discount. That is what they usually mean when they say that treasury bills are sold at a discount. So you will buy a treasury bill for less the amount of money that it is worth and then what happens is that when the treasury bill matures and by maturing i mean when the 91 days are over or the 182 days are over or when the 364 days are over depending on the period that you chose uh, so when the maturity uh, period is over you'll be paid the full amount um the full amount of uh, the full amount worth of the treasury bill How often are treasury bills auctioned? Treasury bills are auctioned weekly by the Central Bank of Kenya. So every week, if you go to the Central Bank of Kenya website, you will see a new treasury bill. What this means is that throughout the year, uh, you have an opportunity to invest in treasury bills because there are always, there is always a new treasury bill on the Central Bank of Kenya website. Um, why does the government issue treasury bills or rather why does the government want you to loan them money uh, through treasury bills and treasury bonds so the government issues treasury bills because um, they need money to fund their various projects so last week um, the cabinet secretary for Nat national treasury um, read the budget I hope you, you got an opportunity to listen to the budget or if you did not, I hope you've had an opportunity to read through the document, uh, to read through his presentation. And one of the key things that he said in that presentation is that the government has a deficit of 846 billion. That means they don't have 846 billion to fund the budget that they read. So where are they going to get this money? So the cabinet secretary said that they are going to get this money in two ways. One. Um, external borrowing that means they will get this money from bring from other countries uh, and institutions you know China uh, European countries and and all those and they're going to borrow 260 billion from external countries and institutions but they are going to get 538 billion from domestic sources um, and domestic borrowing is where the government borrows money from its own citizens. And that means they are going to borrow money from you and I, you know, from Kawaida citizens like you and I, a whole 538 billion. So this domestic borrowing is, is through issuing treasury bills and treasury bonds. And I'm going to do uh, a full guide on how to invest in treasury bills, uh, in treasury bonds later, because today's video is, uh, is focused on, in, on treasury bills. And that answers your question on why the government issues treasury bills to fund its various projects and so this 538 um, billion is going to be gotten from from people like you and i and then how do you start investing in treasury bills or how do you buy treasury bills 
you need a central depository of securities account a cds account issued by the central bank of kenya it's issued and maintained at the central bank of kenya and to open and now i'm going to teach you about what the documents that you need or the process that you need to go through for you to open a cds account at the central bank of kenya what are the requirements for you to open a cds account with the central bank of kenya you need four things number one an application form this application form is often referred to as a mandate card or is usually referred to as a mandate card uh, to get a mandate card you need to go to any central bank of kenya branch countrywide before 2 pm so if you go after 2 pm you'll not be allowed in so go there as tell them that you want a man tell them that you want to start investing in fixed income securities or to start investing in treasury bills or treasury bonds they will give you these mandate cards i would advise you to collect more than two or yeah more than two or more than one mandate card at least take three of them because when you're filling the mandate card sometimes you can make a mistake and one of the rules they have is that you cannot return a mandate card that has errors so pick more than one uh, for your safety so you need one uh, an application form or a mandate card from central bank of kenya number two you need your pass a passport photo number three you need your id or your passport and number four you need a signatory so after you've picked the mandate card from uh, from central bank of kenya you need to take that after you filled your details you need to take that mandate card to your banker so that they can witness or so that they can witness and put a stamp on your mandate card that is required before you return it to the central bank of kenya and um so those are the four things that you need to open a cds account And after that, how do you fill the mandate card? This is very important information because as I said, for, for example, if you make errors while filling the mandate card, then when you return it to the central bank, they will not pick it. You'll have to do the trip again. So listen carefully to these instructions. Number one, and also these instructions are also written on the mandate card anyway, so in case you forget, uh, you're good to go. Number one, you need to fill this mandate card in block letters. Uh, so when you're filling your name, your location, and all those things, you need to fill it in block letters, not small letters. Number two, you need to write your names as they appear on your ID. So if your name, for example, is Agatha Wanjiro, don't write on your mandate card Wanjiro Agatha. No, the same way they appear on your ID. And number three, there should be no errors. And that's why I had advised you that it's good to pick two or three mandate cards so that in case you make an error, then you can always use the, the second mandate card. No error. So for example, no crossing, no using two different ball pens, no, no combining small letters and capital letters. So you should be very keen when you're filling this form. And number four, don't fold or disfigure this form. So don't put it in your backpack or in your handbag in a way that it gets folded or disfigured. When you return it to a central bank, they will not um, they will not pick it and you'll have to do the task all over again. And if you want to start investing in treasury bills and treasury bonds uh, in a joint account, let's say, for example, you want to do it with your spouse or you want to do it with your charmer or you want to do it with your investment group, all of you need to fill that mandate card so each member of your chama or yeah or each member of your investment group you need to fill that mandate card and then all of you need to appear in person at um at the central bank of kenya um yeah all of you need to appear in person at the central bank of kenya and so that you, you can verify that you are real people and then so after you have filled or you've gathered all these documents after you filled the mandate card correctly and after your signatory which is your banker has signed and stamped um your mandate card and something else to note is that your um, passport photo should also be stamped and signed at the back your banker should sign and stamp your passport photo uh, before you return it to central bank of kenya So now how do you open the CDS account? You return, you pack those documents neatly and return them to Central Bank of Kenya offices. Um, so because the so you'll go to, to, to the branch and you will re be received by a CBK officer who will take your documents and check them for compliance, you know, to check that you filled the right things. And then when you leave, when the, this officer has, satisfi has certified that your documents are in order, they will 
um, you will leave the document in Central Bank of Kenya and it will take seven working days for them to set up your uh, your CDS account after your CDS account has been set they will send you an email a confirmation email to, to to tell you that your CDS account has been opened and this email usually reads something like this dear investor uh, confirmation of update on CDS account so they'll tell you we have processed your application for amendment of your CDS account details held in our books as per your recent request and confirmation that we have effected the changes as requested so we, they will give you in this email it will contain your CDS or portfolio account number and it will also contain the virtual account number these two numbers are very important because these are the numbers that you will need when you are sending money to central bank of kenya when you're transferring through rtgs or eft when you're transferring your money to central bank of kenya for your investment um and so it's very important that you keep this email you know uh, that you keep this email so don't delete it and don't archive it if you need to do a screenshot of this email or write down this CDS or portfolio this CDS portfolio account number or your virtual account number. If you need to save it, please do so because if you forget these numbers then you will you'll hustle when it comes to transferring your money to Central Bank of Kenya. And um it's very important to note that to prevent your account from becoming dormant, uh, ensure that there is always a security that is a treasury bill or a treasury bonds running in your account. What this means that in ensure that you, you are always investing in a treasury bill or treasury bond because if you don't uh, do so for a whole year then your account will become dormant and you'll have to make the trip back to central bank for you to for them to reactivate your account again and unless you have a lot of time to waste there's no need of doing that over and over again so that's all you need for you to open a central bank account of Kenya, and it's open to everyone every kenyan can walk into the central bank of kenya offices one thing that um i noticed is that on Haile Selassie Avenue in Nairobi, when you pass the Central Bank of Kenya offices, it's usually guarded by a lot of cops, you know, and a lot of us think that that is an office that is not, or that is, yeah, that's an office that's not accessible to the Kawaida Mwananchi because of all the security that is outside. It's me now telling you that that office is accessible to every Kenyan because, yes, your government needs you to loan them money for them to run all the projects that you see around. So that's all you require for you to have an SDS account. Where to buy treasury bills? Once your application is approved, that means you've received your email and now you have your CDS account number and you know your virtual account number, it's time to start investing in treasury bills. Yay! Finally. So there are two ways to invest in treasury bills. Number one, directly through the Central Bank of Kenya or number two, through other financial institutions. Uh, so these financial institutions include banks, licensed stock brokers, licensed investment um, advisors, other, other financial institutions. But I would advise you to only invest in treasury bills through the Central Bank of Kenya. Why? Because these other financial institutions charge a management fee for you to invest uh, through them. Remember that investing in treasury bills through the Central Bank of Kenya, it's free. There's no charge. But when you invest, but now that I've told you, when you invest through your bank or other um, investment institutions or financial institutions, you'll be charged a management fee. A smart investor breaks this chain of intermediaries because one of the things that will eat will eat up your investment returns is by paying hefty management fees so you as a smart investor break that chain of having intermediaries the only intermediary you should be having when it comes to your investment world is a stock broker because when investing in the stock market you need one and there's nothing you can do about it that is the law but when it comes to investing in treasury bills and treasury bonds um, no, you don't need an intermediary and these fees are hefty. The other day I was having a conversation with a friend of mine when I was teaching her how to invest in treasury bonds and she was investing uh, 900k yeah, in treasury bonds and we realized that her bank charged her uh, around 25,000 to invest in a 900k treasury bond imagine losing a whole 25,000 just for you to access something that you can access for free through the central bank of kenya so 
do not invest through other financial institutions you know now now what are the steps to follow um for you to invest in treasury bill now that you have your cds account and now that you know that you should invest directly through the central bank of kenya what are the steps number one check the treasury bill on offer on the central bank of kenya website so go to the website and as you can see on this screen recording this is the bit where you should be on check the treasury bills on offer remember that as i said earlier these bills are auctioned on a weekly basis so what you're seeing on our screen now is probably not what you will be seeing um when you visit the central bank of kenya the bills that you're seeing now on the screen is probably not the bills that you will see um on your screen because they have changed since they're auctioned weekly um and then number two select the bill that you want to invest in remember that um there are three types of bills depending on the maturity period the 91 day the 182 day and the 364 day treasury bill so depending on the period that you want to invest in whether you want it to put it for three months six months or a year a uh, pick whichever one uh, works for you and number three now that you've picked the one that you want uh, make an application to invest now there are two ways that you can apply to invest in a treasury bill number one manually or by filling uh, manually by filling an application form that you get from the central bank of kenya offices but that is archaic you know that is how people in the olden days used to invest in treasury bill where you go to the central bank of kenya get an application form you go there physically get an application form fill the application form with all your details and then you return it to central bank of kenya and then you wait for the bid results no now uh, because central bank of kenya realized how cumbersome that process is they have um, um a digital process to do this so and this is what we call the cbk tmd ussd code this is a ussd code service where you can access on your phone to start investing in treasury bills remember i told you that they will send you an email when you make your application that they will send you an email with your uh, cds account and the virtual account number when they do that they will also send you a text message to tell you that you now have access to this uh ussd code you can you have now have access to this ussd code which means that you can now start investing through it and this ussd code is usually star 866 hash so they will it will it will be automatic when they send you uh, that email that um text message to say you have access to it when you dial it it will automatically um know that it will automatically know that it's you who is um who, who wants to invest because i uh, remember this ussd code is already linked to your virtual account number and it's already linked to your phone number um so it will it will be automatic so when you have access to it you'll dial star 866 hash um to start investing and then so when you dial star 866 hash um, you will be uh, you'll be prompted to enter your pin uh to enter your pin also that text message will that central bank of kenya will will send you will already guide you on how to set your pin remember this is a private uh this is a private pin and uh, number three step three of how to use the tmd ussd service is you select um an option uh you select option two you should select option two which is auction bids because you want to uh to participate in the bidding process basically and then number four step four is you select the uh, security type uh, this video is about investing treasury bill so you will select um, treasury bill step five is um, you select the security on offer now every treasury bill has an issue number this is a unique identifier uh, or a unique identifier identifying code or number uh, that identifies the specific treasury bill that you want to invest in so remember you have already gone to the central bank of kenya website you have you have already identified the uh, the bill that you want to invest in so because you already know the code you 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 select the um the bill that you want since you already know and number six enter the bid amount this is where you enter a minimum of a hundred thousand shillings because you already established this is a minimum amount you need to start investing in treasury bills and you have to invest in multiples of 50,000 shillings. So what I mean is that you the minimum is 100,000 shillings. The next amount you can invest is 150,000, 200,000, 250,000, 300,000 like that in multiples of 
50,000 shillings so you can't invest 120,000 shillings because 120,000 is not a multiple of 50,000 shillings so let's say you've entered your bid amount which is 100,000 shillings which is the amount of money you want to invest and number seven now you come to the point where you have to select the interest rate there are two types of interest rates uh, when it comes to investing in uh, treasury bills uh, through the central bank of kenya a competitive rate also known as a competitive bid and a non-competitive bid a competitive bid is where you state your the interest rate that you want to, to to get or the return that you want to get now guys this is reserved for people who are investing 20 million and above that's why i keep telling you that the game is rigged for the rich so if you're rich enough to afford to invest 20 million shillings then you can you can choose uh the interest rate that you want to get from central bank of kenya or and you can you um as a common mananchi who doesn't have 20 million shillings and i included for us you go for the non-competitive bid which is uh and then going for the non-competitive bid means you are letting the central bank of Ke kenya auction committee to choose uh the interest rate that they will give you and how they do this is they do the average rate of the bids that they received and so what you now need to is and step seven to enter your rate and here you enter zero when you enter zero it means that you have given the central bank of kenya auction committee the permission to give you uh the competitive uh, the competitive rate or the average rate and finally you confirm uh, step eight is you confirm and send to mean that yay you have already um auctioned uh, you have already placed your auction uh and now you've already placed your auction and now you're ready for the central bank of kenya to tell you whether your bid was accepted or not um most average bids that means most people who put zero their their bids are auctioned people who have 20 million and above are the ones who have to worry whether their um their bids are going to be accepted or not and those are the eight steps those are the simple eight steps for you to to start investing in treasury bills and when you're done with the eight steps you sit pretty and wait for a text message from the central bank of kenya to let you know whether your bid was accepted or not which is what we are going to talk about next why do we love the tmd cbk tmd ussd code service because it's accessible to everyone and you can access it using any type of phone including a kabambe this means that uh, this service is inclusive to all kenyans you actually do not need even internet connection for you to access this ussd code it's accessible to everyone wherever you are whether you call whether you're in Ushago, whether you're in Ocha, whether you're in town, it's accessible to everyone anywhere, anytime. And also, this by using the star 866 hash USSD code, you have access to a few things um, through the Central Bank of Kenya. From the Central Bank of Kenya, number one, as I said, you, you have access to bidding for a treasury bill or a treasury bond, like I showed you earlier the eight steps number two you have access to the outcomes of the of your bids so you can always dial star 866 hash and you're able to follow the prompts and you're able to know what was the outcome of you of the bid that means was your bid accepted or what is the uh, the interest rate that was given for every uh for every bill or bond number three you're able to access your account balance you know if you invest um you know if you invested like for a treasury bill three years ago and you've forgotten how much money you invested or plus the interest rate how much money is in your account you can always access by dialing um, that ussd code and number four you can you have access to the status um of of purchases of of bonds and bills and you also have uh, access to status of what is happening in the secondary market in terms of investments of this um fixed income securities and so when you have bidded or you when you've placed your bid uh, how do you get the auction results so central bank of kenya auction committee uh, sits down i assume at some round table or huge table and they decide um they decide which is the average rate for every for every bill and then after that they will publish this information in the newspaper or and also 
on the Central Bank of Kenya website. By the way, the Central Bank of Kenya website should be one of those things that you visit often, you know, so that you take advantage of these um, fixed income securities investments. Um, and so they will publish it on the on that website, on the daily newspapers. And also, if you don't have access to the daily newspapers, if you've already uh, if you've already an active investor, they will send you an SMS of the auction results. So, for example, if you place a bid, they will tell you, dear Agatha, for example, your bid has, has been accepted. This is the rate, and this is how much money we need you to send us. Basically, the money that you told them that you want to invest. And then, how do you make a payment now that you've decided? Now that your auction bid has been accepted how do you make a payment there are various ways you can send uh, you can transfer your money to the central bank of kenya one you can take cash to to, to the central bank of kenya branch of course this is very is a is, is a security threat to you for carrying uh, such a huge amount of money via cash so i don't advise you to do that but if you want to you can do that you can take them cash number two you can do an eft transfer through your bank you can also use that an RTGS transfer through your bank. You'll be charged an amount, I think, like for most bank, an RTGS transfer is usually like 600 bob. Um, yeah, so just go to your bank or even on, use online banking. But then, nowadays, you don't need to do physical things. Just use online banking to transfer the money to the Central Bank of Kenya. And it's very, very important to remember when you're transferring the money to the Central Bank of Kenya, you have to quote your CDS account number because that is your unique identifier for your account and then you have to input the virtual account number that Central Bank of Kenya sent you through the email that I showed you earlier in this video and then so finally after the 91 days the 182 days and the 364 days have elapsed those are the maturity periods how do you receive your money your money is going to be sent through the your bank account the bank account that you filled in the mandate card or in the application form that is how you receive your your money uh that that is how you receive the face value or yeah the face value or the worth of the bill that you invested in remember the example that i said uh, that uh, treasury bills actually sold at a discount uh so if the bills worth was 100k but you had to send them 95,000 when the maturity period is over you receive the whole a hundred thousand that is the full bills worth um yes that, that's the full bills worth so that is the simple process of how to place a bid through the central bank of kenya using the ussd code how to send money to central bank of kenya and how to receive your investment it's a safe and secure method no um it's a safe and secure method uh, there's no intermediary that you need that's it A treasury bills taxed in Kenya. Yes, um, a 15% withholding tax is applied to uh, treasury bills. So after um, your maturity period is over, the Central Bank of Kenya will send you your money minus 15% withholding tax uh, because the Central Bank is approved by KRA to take what belongs to Caesar and send it to him. and how much uh, treasury bills treasury bills can you buy as i said earlier you need a minimum of a hundred thousand after that now it depends on your financial strength how much money do you have if you have a million invest if you have two million invest if you have 150,000, invest as long as you keep in mind that the minimum is a hundred thousand and everything else of every other amount after that should be in multiples of fifty thousand Uh, can you invest in treasury bills when living in the diaspora? Yes, you can But of course you need to go through the process of opening the CDS account uh, if you haven't already and a, a few years back people living in the diaspora didn't need to send the physical copies of their documents, you know the mandate card uh, your passport photo, a copy of your ID or your passport, you didn't need to send those documents uh, a few years ago. But due to issues of money laundering and such, now Central Bank requires that you have to send through courier, through courier service, you have to ship um, your documents to CBK. Uh, but I will link in the description box, I will link all the instructions um, that you need to follow for you to open a CDS account and start investing treasury bonds through the through 
the Central Bank of, of Kenya. The instructions are not far off from people who are who are living in Kenya. The only bit is that it's you have to ship your documents. But I will, as I said, I will link all the instructions. Um, how do you use? Uh, how best should you use um, treasury bills? Um, in two ways, I would advise you to use treasury bills in two ways. Number one, to avoid the temptation of spending money. If you have a hundred thousand lying in your M-Pesa or in a, in in an envelope in your house uh, below your mattress or uh, in a bank account, you are likely to be tempted to spend that money. So it is better. Um, to invest in a treasury bill so that you don't squander that money. And number two, um, a treasury bill is a good way to pack money for projects. So for example, if you have a project that you need to do a year from now, then a treasury bill is a very good way to pack that money there as you wait for your project. And But it's very important to remember that uh, treasury bills, um, the return on treasury bills is calculated using simple interest and not compounding interest. So that means that treasury bills should not be your ultimate investment opportunity. It's a good um, opportunity to pack money, uh, to pack money for both uh, projects that are coming up and also for projects um, to pack money for projects that are coming up and also for other lucrative investments, you know, like treasury bonds, for example, because those offer higher interest rates or even the stock market if you need to buy a, a huge uh, number of stocks. Why should you invest in the stock market? I'll give you four reasons. There are probably many, but I'll give you four. Number one, diversification. You know the rule don't put all your eggs in one basket so if you've only been investing in money market funds or in the stock market then treasury bills is a new way to diversify your investments number two it's a low risk investment in fact they dare say that uh, treasury bills are risk free investments so especially if you're a beginner investor this is a perfect safe way to start investing in in treasury, in treasury bills and remember it's now digital it's Start 866 hash on your phone, you know, when you're chilling and you can start investing in the stock. Uh, sorry, you can start investing in treasury bills. And um, number three, it's a good way to preserve your capital. Again, if you have a project coming up, instead of storing your money in a, in a bank account that gives you very tiny interest rates way below inflation, put your money in a treasury bill. That's a good way to preserve your capital because you never ever want your money to lose value. I mean, look at the times you're living in in this country. My goodness, the inflation rate goes higher by them by the day. And then number four, there are no management fees when investing in in treasury bills through Central Bank of Kenya. As an investor, one of the key risks of the returns that you get from your investment portfolio is management fees. Um, these management fees that are charged by investment companies, brokers, and and, and such will eat up a lot of your um, of your returns. So by investing directly through the Central Bank of Kenya, you avoid these intermediaries, and which is a beautiful way to preserve your capital and to grow your money. So those are four perfect ways of why you should invest in the um, in the in treasury bills. And then one more question that is always asked: Are treasury bills risk free? What I can tell you is that they are backed uh, by the full faith of them but of the of the kenyan government and the, its credit so in a way they are they are risk free but of course um either way at the end of the day there is nothing that is usually a hundred percent risk free but i can assure you it's a safe way to start investing your money and last question are treasury bills liquid Mm, yes, they are because remember it's a short-term investment in three months You have your money in six months. You have your money in a year You have your money to use in other investments. It's very important to invest your money in In investments that assure you of cash flow because at the end of the day cash flow is king Having your money in cash. It's ha having access to your money is a very important thing to consider while choosing an investment opportunity And there you have it guys that is a perfect uh, you have one more way uh, to invest your money treasury bills is a perfect way to grow your money and to preserve your capital and when you're here subscribe to this channel hit the notification button so that you join the wealth tribe and you can be part of the gang that thrives through all investment opportunities in this country